I'm going to be making a roasted red pepper soup. It is super, super easy to make, and it's using summer bounty of just really easy to find ingredients. It obviously begins with roasted red peppers, and for magic of television, I went ahead and roasted these before we started shooting. Now, I put these on my grill last night, and what you wanna do is on the highest setting, you want to go ahead and put these peppers directly on the grate, don't oil them, don't do anything, leave them whole, and let them cook until they are charred and starting to collapse. You can also pop them in your oven uh, under the broiler and do the same thing. So when you take your peppers off of the grill or out of the oven, you want to immediately steam them. That is what is going to make it so easy to peel. You can see I'm just talking to you and just kind of like slipping these skins off. So you can put them in a paper bag and roll that up. You can put them in a Tupperware container. If you are broiling them on a cookie sheet, you can just take that cookie sheet out of the oven, cover it with tin foil and let it sit. So you want it to steam for at least a good 20, 30 minutes before you put these guys in the fridge. Peppers are done. They kind of look like pepper carpaccio. So I'm just going to dice up my onion. I'm gonna smash a few cloves of garlic, cut some of these cherry tomatoes in half. Then we're gonna head over to the stove. I have a few glugs of olive oil in my pot and it's heating on medium high heat. It smells really fragrant. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my onions. My onions are nice and fried. Time to add in those beautiful peppers, cherry tomatoes, and my garlic. This is the reserve juice from the roasting of the peppers. That's gonna add a lot of flavor. I'm gonna let that simmer for just a second, and then I'm gonna add in four cups of veggie stock. And this I'm gonna to allow to simmer for another probably 15 minutes or so. We are just about finished with our soup. Next step is to go ahead and puree it. And then I'm gonna stir in my cream. If you're looking for the recipe for this soup, all you have to do is go to feastmagazine.com. We have everything there inside of the Feast TV section. You'll find the recipes from every single Feast TV episode we've ever shot. Okay, I'm gonna take this off the stove and I'm gonna ladle it up. To finish off our soup, I'm gonna to top it with some crumbled feta and a little bit of parsley. I love this soup because it's incredibly simple. The beautifully kind of smoky flavor of those red peppers shines right through and it's complemented by the garlic and the onion. It's delicious. I hope you enjoyed this farmy episode as much as I did and I will see you next time. Yeah.